I'm gonna wait out here a couple more seconds. I still didn't close the door behind me. I can hear him up in the crate moving though. I'm gonna go back in. Finch, down. There are many different stages of separation anxiety. Every single dog is different and we work through it in a different way. The first thing that you need to do is do some trial and error. I am all for crate training, but sometimes dogs prefer to be out of the crate and they're not destructive and they don't have separation anxiety out of it. But if they do, you then need to surround your separation anxiety training around the crate. You need to make them comfortable in here because you don't want to have them just out and about destroying your house if they are being destructive. So that's when the trial and error comes into play. That's when you know you leave the house for 15 minutes, videotape them in the crate, see how they do. Do they calm down after the first couple minutes or is it constant barking, anxiety the entire time you're gone? Then do that exact same thing out of the crate. Is it anxiety? Are they chewing? Do they calm down after a couple minutes? This will help you gauge how to move forward with your training and helping them relax and deal with their anxiety that they're having. So that's the first thing that you need to do. Now, I did this already with Finch today. So we kind of have a good idea of what's going on. He is not constantly barking or howling during the time that we are away, but he has his spurts where he's quiet for a minute. Then he'll let some whines and barks out and then he's quiet for a couple more minutes and then he does that again. So he definitely is having anxiety the entire time we're gone. And mind you, we only left for about 15 minutes. So we tried the short time the short time frame first. But what I want to do now is, now that I know his patterns, I want to desensitize him of the crate first. He is pretty comfortable in the crate. If the door is open, he'll go in here and lay down. So that is a really good thing. But me telling him to go to his crate, he's very stubborn about. So we're gonna do some of that work first. I also want to put him in a sit in a down position because when they're in here, we want to direct them to a down. That's going to be a huge part of working through their separation anxiety and doing the training on that is we're gonna have to direct them to a down and for them to listen. So practicing right now with the door open and just going back and forth is going to really help solidify that in their mind. Um, so that's what we're gonna do is do some go to your crates, sit and down, work through his stubbornness, and then I'm going to start closing the door. Then we are really going to work on and work through and help him work through his separation anxiety. Now, when dogs have separation anxiety, they usually just don't know how to self-soothe. So they get themselves so worked up and so anxious and so upset that they don't know how to correct that behavior. Go to your crate. You never want to force them into their crate either. You want them to go in on their own. Yeah. Yes, good boy. So now I'm gonna direct him to a sit. Yes, and a down. Make him uncomfortable so then his front legs give out and he goes into that full down position. We want him to be relaxed in here. So I'm gonna show him the treat again. Put it to the ground. Yes, good boy, and give it to him. So this is what we want. We want his legs to be out for him to be relaxed, his full belly on his blanket, his bed. Yes, because that's ultimately what we want him to be doing the whole time he's in here is relaxing and for him to know that this is a place where he can relax. Okay. And then we can just let him back out. I'm not gonna close the door behind him this time. Go to your crate. Yes, good boy. So I am going to close the door behind him this time. Yes, he already went into that sit, which is great. Now I'm gonna have him pinch down. Remember, you need to be more stubborn than your dog. This can be kind of difficult if your dog doesn't know the down command yet, so you might wanna work on that before you even try to do it in the crate. Find some treats somewhere else. Yes, good boy, yes. Now when I walk away, I'm not gonna make a big deal because we don't want him to get excited or for his energy to go up. So I'm not gonna make a big deal of the fact that I'm leaving. I am going to work slowly and 
go out the door and close the door behind me and see how he reacts. Yes, I'm gonna reward him again quick before I leave, just because he is still laying down. Yes, and being relaxed. And then I'm going to get up. And I'm just going to walk out the door. And he's probably gonna get immediately upset that I'm leaving. So he is whining, so I'm not gonna go back in until he stops whining. Okay, so that's a split second of silence. He is up. So in this situation, he's being quiet, which is great. I'm not gonna make it a big deal that I came back in, but I am now going to direct him down and show him what he should be doing in this situation instead. I remember all the way. And if your dog is super anxious, this may take a little while to get them to calm down enough to actually lay back down. Are you being a stubborn boy? Show him the treat again. Yes. Yes, good boy. Yes. Mark it with that yes. Reward him. Yes. So this time. Oh, and that will happen a lot too. Because you'll see them pop right back up. Finch, down. Maybe you need to give them some more room, so I'll adjust it to over here. Finch. Yes, good boy. Yes, reward him. And now, since he's laying down, he's comfy. I am going to get up and walk to the door. So he's still laying down, which is great. This time I'm just gonna walk to the door, touch the door handle. Hear that? I'm twisting it back and forth. And now I'm gonna walk back over to him and reward him. Yes, good boy, yes. Finch, down. Get him back to a down just cause he did pop up there for a sec, but he stayed calm that whole time. Yes, good sit. All the way. So that's what we want is he didn't react to me touching the door handle. So I want to come back in and reward him for staying down and calm. Get that belly on the ground. Yes. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna do this again. Now I'm going to touch the door handle go out the door and just come back in quick so I didn't even shut the door behind me that time and he in his defense he was already standing up before I even left his crate yes good boy Finch down You're so close, bud. All the way. See, he's still hovering, so I don't want to give him the full treat. Just kind of letting him nibble on it. Yes, good boy, yes. And we're gonna repeat that exact same thing because I think that was a really good point to um, that we're working through right now is desensitizing him of that noise of the door handle, us actually leaving the room. I'm gonna wait out here a couple more seconds. I still didn't close the door behind me. I can hear him up in the crate moving though. I'm gonna go back in. Finch, down. So what we're doing is teaching them how to self-soothe. So when they feel that anxious energy, yes, good boy, that's, see it's already getting faster. And that's because we're being more stubborn than they are. So the more we out stubborn them and show them they're not going to get their way, the faster they're going to respond to us. Also, what we're doing here is working through 
that anxiety and those triggers that are getting him upset. We're also teaching them how to self-soothe. Right, bud? Because when they get anxious, we, this is what we want them to do. We want them to self-soothe. We want them to be comfortable in the crate. All right, bud. What do you think? So that's the first way that you should be working through is trial and error. And you're always going to, you're always going to pass that threshold where your dog does react like we did in the beginning. We're always going to pass that point or that threshold, like I said, that they are going to react. They are going to cry and all of that. So once you pass that, then you kind of learn from it. What can we help him work through and then make that duration longer and longer each time? Awesome. Thanks guys. I hope this helps so much.